Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest VI! Let's head on down to the Lucid Grotto. Oh, yeah, suppose not. Gotta do the do! But anyway, we got Millie in our party, but she's just a guest right now. And we have new enemies here, Goblin Pixies. These guys can cast Crack on your party, which will turn you into drug addicts. No, no, just kidding. But uh, it's a nice elemental spell, deals damage, and that's it. Now, you saw Millie there cast Buff. Uh, that's because right now, since Millie is a guest, she's taking her actions automatically. So we have no control over that, and we can't change her equipment yet. So, oh well. But yeah, those medicinal herbs will really come in handy here. Eventually, I would like to give Millie one of the pot lids I got and the silver tiara, because it's really good for her defense, but I can't adjust her equipment right now. <laughs> oh, Carver. But anyway, let's see what we got down here. Hey, hey, all right. Fortunately, this area is relatively short. And by the way, with Millie... One thing you could do with her is that you can actually manually cast heal from her magic spell list there, even though she's uncontrollable during battle there. Or we could just walk into a dead end. Why not? Okay, new enemy there. Slime Knight. Uh, let's see. They can attack fiercely and heal themselves. Baby Goyles. Flying. We want to use Flying Me. Yes! All right. I got to show it off. The thing I couldn't show off in the Dragon Quest V LP, I think. But yeah, I just love how they grab the slime and try to whack you upside the head with it. <laughs> just an amazing attack animation. I like it. But anyway, we got another new enemy here, uh, Ruffle Goon. Uh, let's see, these guys can cast Kasap on your party, which will reduce your defense by 25% of its maximum for all of your party members. So yeah, that can get a little nasty. But yeah, with melee, I was saying you could heal up manually outside of battle with her MP. And you might think that's a good idea because, well, if she's just going to be casting spells uselessly when we don't want to, then, you know, why not just put her MP to as much use as I can before she runs out? The problem is that the way the AI works for guests, if they run out of MP, they'll sometimes cast spells anyway on their own, even if you don't have the MP. So, yeah, that really sucks. And she'll just waste her turns doing that. So, yeah, I would rather just use the medicinal herbs to heal up. Got a seed of resilience for Carver there. Awesome. And we got new enemies, Hell Hornets. See, these guys can paralyze you or numb you with their physical attacks. So you want to watch out for that. Unfortunately, we don't have a way of dealing with that other than killing them, and boom, they're dead. So yeah, don't use Millie's MP for heal. As a matter of fact, you want to heal up your party members preemptively with medicinal herbs, because you don't want her to accidentally cast heal. Otherwise, she's just going to waste her MP and her turn instead of attacking or doing something remotely useful on offense. But anyway, there we got another new enemy, Ma Mud Mannequin. I almost said Mad Mannequin, but, well, that kind of works, too. But yeah, those guys can do Weird Dance, which drains you for almost all your MP. Or, wait, no, that's Dragon Quest II. Um, oh, right, in this game, it's just one or two MP. So, yeah, they got heavily nerfed in this game. So, yeah, not too much to worry about, but you do want to uh, be a little careful there. All right, our first Metal Slimes of the game. Now, what I'm actually going to do here is, well, first I want to uh, take out the Ruffled Goon there, and I actually do not want to kill the Metal Slime. The reason is because, well, just like all the other games, they give you a lot of experience, but the way job class experience works, it's based on your level your experience level relative to the area that you're in. So it's actually beneficial to not kill the metal monsters to keep your levels low. It's not like Final Fantasy VIII where the game is going to get immensely harder if you get a whole bunch of levels. So it's not that critical, 
But it's something to keep in mind, and I would just avoid killing metal slimes if you can help it. So, but anyway. Why did it just thunder outside when I'm right at the end of the place? In real life, I mean. Hopefully it won't knock the power out in the middle of the commentary, but... Okay, so, let's heal everyone up to max with the medicinal herbs. See if we can get some of that dream dew. We just need a, a drink, man. Yeah, it won't take long. You can have the rest. Oh, nuts. Can I have some Cheetos instead? For boss time! All right, first time we got the uh, real boss music of the game. So what I like to do is use a Lucida shard to potentially confuse him, even though you only got like a 50-50 shot of it working. But once you do that, then have, well, Rex should always cast Sap on him until you get rid of all of his defense. So one more round ought to do. Now the Dazzle Flash you saw there, that reduces your accuracy with your physical attacks and well as you can see uh you'll rant whenever your turn comes up you'll randomly uh well get out of dazzle status or whatever and then you can resume attack now once you've gotten his defense gone then just have everyone go all off don't even bother trying to confuse him with the lucida shard there i mean he can damage himself but the odds of it working are not that great so oh well now one thing that's really interesting about this boss is that in the mobile version or the android version of the game he actually uses fuddle dance for some reason which is not here at all in the ds version i don't know why they made that change because like the ai of all the enemies from what i saw in the android version it was all the same except this one guy and that makes the fight a lot harder Although, it seemed like Millie had some innate high resistance to Fuddle. Like, from what I've heard, she had in the uh, Super Famicom version. But, well, anyway, just something to keep in mind here. But, alright, we got the Dream Dew. We have to walk all the way out, unfortunately. We can't just warp out of here, so I'll meet you outside. Okay, we're back. No more uh, new enemies on the way out, so went pretty uh, flawlessly there. But yeah, we gotta find a way to put this stuff to use. Okay, I was thinking maybe Millie might have had a uh, piece of party talk, but uh, I guess not. So yeah, we'll just head on back there. Fortunately, Zoom only costs one MP, so you don't need to worry about that too much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Carver, you're such a kidder. Let's go. All right. Oh, well, I, I suppose so. Whatever works for you. Oh, yeah, that might be a good idea. Rest up for free here. Why not? But all right. So how do we use this stuff anyway? We're still invisible. Oh, okay. That's why we couldn't do anything with it. Sounds like a plan. Let's do it. What do you mean, this world? It, isn't this all just one world here? What's going on? Oh. You're not going to tell us what it, the difference is exactly, are you? Oh. Huh. Well, that's weird. Are, are we, like, on another planet or something? Or another plane of existence? Or what? Well, I'd imagine most of you can probably figure it out by now, but for those who don't want spoilers, I won't say. But, yeah, it should be fairly obvious by now. But, okay, let's see if this will work for us. How did Millie become visible anyway? I mean, she said she was once invisible just like us, right? But she didn't have any Dream do, or Maybe Madame Luca had some, and then by the time we came along, she was out. And, oh well. But at least, uh, Millie was able to help us out. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, yeah, I suppose so. You never know. Well, thanks for your help. We'll, uh, be going on to Samnia. Oh, okay. Sorry, I, I, sorry, I spoiled that two seconds before she tells it to, tells that us. To us. Yeah, I speak English good. Oh, at first I thought you said dream beer. I'm like, nah, nah, there is no dream beer. Unless the dream do is on alcoholic beverage. I don't know. Yeah, pretty much. Re er, um, Carver isn't exactly a deep thinker. Oh, at first I thought she said, ask now and ask questions later. I'm like, wait, what? But anyway, hey, hey, all right. Are you going to stay AI controlled for the remainder of the game? No, no, she won't. Oh, by the way, while she was a guest, she couldn't gain experience to gain levels or anything. But now we can with four party members. All right. And I'll give her the uh, pot lid and silver tiara eventually. But I want to see how much money I've got before I do that. Because I might need to sell them to get a little extra money. Hopefully that won't be the case. Oh, well thank you. And we'll never see her again. Actually, we never really have to come back here. Although there, there is one time when we should do that. But you'll see when we get there. But alright, let's uh, move along then. Gotta head uh, back to Port Haven in order to progress with the plot. So let's head on over there then. One thing I do, I do want to do is sell a lot of my excess equipment. I'd like to have at least 4,000 gold, preferably 6,000, but we'll see what I've got. But anyway, now we can talk to people again. Hooray! I'm not going to talk to every single person again. I'm only going to talk to a few relevant people, major NPCs, things like that, and move on. Eh, I wouldn't worry about her. I'm sure she'll be fine. Well, it pretty much is. Now we can actually buy stuff and everything. Oh, yeah, I suppose so. That's where we gotta head over there to the docks eventually, but... Anyway. Oh. <laughs> hey, how's it going? I'm not a maid. Oh, wh what happened? Did you execute her? Well, it wasn't her fault, dude. Yeah, she, she was innocent. Yep. Not even gonna get into a Bethelma situation. Yeah, kinda did. It was right there. You might wanna throw Ivy in jail instead. Oh. What do you mean? Oh. Nuts. Isn't traveling spelled with only one L? Hmm. Maybe it's one of those optional spelling things. Not. Well, not much we can do now, or you. Yeah, kind of late for that. Oh, well. That's pretty much it for this plot line. Really, I mean, that's... All we do is we talk to them, and that's pretty much it. And, well, there's actually a little more to it, but you'll see when we get there. But nothing that's, like, critical for the plot or anything. It's just a little side story that's a nice little detail and everything, but that's pretty much it. Well, you don't even know where she could have gone with uh, the merchant there. Oh, yeah, sorry, I meant to tell you, we kind of looted your whole place when we were invisible. Well, we were invisible, that's why. Oh, yeah, I was thinking uh, with the word traveling there. I thought that was one of those weird words where the way you spell it is, like, counterintuitive or something. Like, usually you'd make two L's there, but I thought it was one of those words that's a little weird like that for some reason. 
I don't know. Yeah. Oh, well. You could send someone after her, like your son, who has already left. If only. No, no, we, we can't time travel or, or anything like that. Not in this game. That's another game, viewers. Well, yeah, she's, uh, she's really gone there. Remember those treasures in those cells for later viewers? Because, well, spoiler alert, we're gonna get a key that can open those kind of doors. Let's put Carver at the front here and see what happens. Okay, how's it go? Oh, well, yeah, now I'm visible and everything, but, uh... Is it really the same Carver, though? He didn't seem to remember anything about it. That's weird. So what, we were, were invisible in Amnesiacs? That's great. I almost said Insomniacs, but uh, no, that wouldn't quite be right. Yeah, now you're just talking crazy. Totally not there, son. Now, I already used the head desk, not, not doing it again. Maybe later in the LP, but not two episodes in a row like that. You insolent fool! Oh. How did you get so good at martial arts anyway? It's not like we have any dojos around here or anything. Well, I wouldn't worry about that. Let's see if we can uh, turn Ivy in to the proper authorities. And she'll be the last person I talk to. Well, she was thrown in jail. What did you think was going to happen? Jerk. Well, yeah, we can't let Ivy... Or can't do anything to put, I, turn Ivy into justice or whatever. But, well, too late now for that. Okay, so anyway, what I want to do is I want to sell a lot of my excess equipment here. Get up to about four, preferably 6,000 gold. So that way, well, we can do other things with it. What are we going to do with all that money? Find out next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest VI. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.